Hi everyone, welcome to my channel Brilliant Bankers. So this is all about uh, online certification courses. So we have already started with one course that is prevention of cyber crimes and fraud management. I have already uploaded uh, two, two or three videos. So uh, please go and watch the videos. And we have started with uh, introduction for cyber crimes and we were discussing about what is cyber crimes and what are the types, different kinds of cyber crimes. Okay, so now we are going to see what is cyber laws and what is the need and importance of uh, cyber laws. Okay, so we are living in highly digitalized world, right? All companies uh, um, depends upon their computer networks and their valuable data in their electronic forms. So every, every data is being stored in their electronic form. Even the government has also uh, been storing the data in electronic forms, like including um, income tax returns, company law forms, etc. are now filled in uh, electronic form. So consumers also using the credit card for uh, shopping, all those things. So cyber law is the cyber law is the law that is governing the cyberspace. So what is cyberspace? Cyberspace is very wide term. Okay, that is includes uh, computers, networks, software, data storage devices like um, hard disk, USB disks, etc. This internet websites, emails, and even electronic uh, devices like um, cell phones, ATM machines, etc. So all this significant advances made by mankind uh, from the beginning till date, right? We have tremendous development and progress in our digital world. So this being started, this internet is a global network of computers. So this is being started in 1969, the America's Department of Defense commissioned, uh, they've started a super network called Arapanet. So the full form of Arapanet is Advanced Research Pro uh, Projects Agency Network. So this was basically was, uh, 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 discovered means constructed for military network of 40 computers connected by a web of links later the this this slowly grew up and it uh, the uh, internet was born in by a 1981 over 200 computers were connected from all around the world from uh, together so the real power of internet is that it is available for anyone through uh, in, uh, with a computer and a telephone line okay now internet is being used everywhere it has been uh, used every places in every corner it has been internet is being used so uh, for the uh, past few years only this the usage of internet has been significantly increased so according to international data cooperation that is idc approximately 163 million individuals or entities will use the internet by the end of the year as opposed to like 16.1 million in 1995 so as the system is as the usage of internet is being increasing same way we uh, we the uh, internet the space the spy, cyber space also should be protected so the necessity of cyber laws it become very very important so next we are going to see the need for cyber law so why cyber law is needed because millions of people around the world use internet for business banking social interaction social networking and uh, online shopping online jobs online studies whatever it is so internet is misused for criminal activities so that's why we need for the laws we are in need for the laws because uh, the nature the anonymous nature of the internet the people may tend to people are engaging in lot of criminal activities to protect and prevent the criminal activities which has been happening in the cyberspace we need few uh, we need some laws so what is cyber law so we next we are going going to see cyber 
law. So what is cyber law? Cyber law is that any uh, laws relating uh, to protecting the internet and the other online communication technologies is called cyber law. Cyber law is that it is to govern, as I told al uh, already, it is to gov govern the cyber space. It is uh, called as uh, the cyber law is also called as the law of internet. So there is no exhaustive definition for the term cyber law. Simply cyber law is a uh, term which used to refers all the illegal, uh, sorry, legal and regulatory aspects of internet and the world wide web. So this cyber laws is important for um, tackling cyber crime and or a successful and smooth functioning of e-commerce and uh, virtual communication. So there should not be any uh, juris jurisdiction, jurisdictional boundaries. So in, the, in case of increasing use of mobile banking and internet banking. So uh, this cyber law should be uh, stabilized for the economic efficiency of our country. Okay, all these regulatory mechanism and legal infrastructures come within the domain of cyber law next we are going to see importance of the cyber law so why what is the importance of cyber law it uh, protects the integrity of the government and reputation of the country it increases uh, this import uh, cyber law is important to increase the market confidence and uh, certainty of uh, in business operations and attract the foreign direct investment it increase national security and uh, deter corruption okay according to uh, the information technology act of 2000 was enacted in the with the prime objective of that enabling environment for commercial use of it so the it act specifies that it should be ma uh, made any 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 illegal activity any criminal activity should be made punishable According to the Indian Penal Code, IPC 1860 has also been amended to take into its purview of uh, cyber crimes. So there are various um, acts, various uh, uh, acts, uh, cyber crimes under various laws, IT acts as are coming under uh, cyber crimes. So th that we are going to see. Uh, next is cyber crimes under the IT Act. That is tampering with computer source documents, section 65. Hacking with computer system, data alteration, section 66. Publishing obscene information, section 67. Unauthorized access to protect system, section 70. Breach of confidentiality and privacy, section 72. Publishing false digital signature certificates, section 73. So next, cyber crimes under IPC and special laws. Sending threatening messages by email, section 503 IPC. Sending defamatory messages by email, section 499 IPC. Forgery of electronic records, section 463 IPC. Bogus websites, cyber frauds, section 420 IPC. Email spoofing, section 463 IPC. Web jacking, section 383 IPC. Email abuse, section 500 IPC. Next is cyber crimes under the special acts. Online sale of drugs under narcotics drugs and psychotropic substances acts. Online sale of arms, arms act. Next is cyber crime act in India. Tap tampering with computer source documents, section 65. Hacking with computer systems, Data alteration 66, sending offensive messages through communication section 66A, dishonestly re receiving stolen computer resource of or communication device section 66B, identity theft section 66C, cheating by personation by using computer resource section 66D, violation of privacy section 66E, cyber ter terrorism section 66F. Publishing or transmitting obscene material in electronic form, section 67. Publishing or transmitting of materials containing sexually ex explicit act, etc. in electronic form, section 
67A, punishment for publishing or transmitting or material de depicting children in sexually explicit act in electronic form, section 67B, preservation and retention of information by intermediaries, section 67C, powers to issue directions for interception or monitoring or decryption of any information through any computer resource, section 69. Power to issue di directions for blocking for public access of any information through any computer resource, section 69A. Power to authorize, to monitor and collect traffic data or information through any computer resource for cybersecurity, section 69B. Unauthorized access, access to protected system, section 70. Penalty for mis representation section 71 breach of confidentiality and privacy section 72 publishing false digital signature certificates section 73 publication for fraudulent purpose section 74 act to apply for offense or contraventions committed outside india section 75 compensation penalties or confiscation not to interfere with other punishments, section 77. Compounding of offenses, section 77A. Offenses with three years imprisonment to be cognizable, section 77B. Exemption from liability of intermediary in certain cases, section 79. Punishment for abatement of offenses, section 84B. Punishment for attempt to commit offenses section 84c so section 878 of it act empowers police for police inspector to investigate cases uh, falling under this act offenses by companies 80, section 85 sending threatening messages by email section 503 ipc word gesture or act intended to insult the modesty of a woman section 509 ipc sending defamatory messages by email Section 4, 499 IPC. Focus website, cyber frauds, 420 IPC, email spoofing, um, making a false document, section 464, forgery for purpose of cheating, section 468 IP, IPC, forgery for purpose of harming reputation, section 469 IPC, web jacking, section 383 IPC, email abuse, section 500. IPC, punishment for criminal intimidation, section, section 506 IPC, criminal intimidation by an anonymous communication, section 507 IPC. When copyright infringed, copyright in a work shall be deemed to be infringed, section 51. Offense of infringement of copyright or other rights conferred by this act. Any person who knowingly infringes or abets the infringement of section 63 enhanced penalty on second and subsequent convictions section 63a knowing use of infringing copy of computer program to be an offense section 63b obscenity section 292 ipc printing etc of grossly indecent or squirrelous matter or matter intended for blackmail Section 292A IPC, sale of obscene objects to young person, Section 293 IPC, obscene acts and songs, Section 294 IPC, theft of computer hardware, Section 378, punishment for theft, Section 379, online sale of drugs, NDPS Act, online sale of arms, Arms Act. So, uh, that's all for this today's class. Hope you liked the video. Thank you for watching. Please uh, subscribe, share and like. Thank you.